Okay, this episode is for the struggling producer, musician, DJ, whatever you're trying to do in music. If you feel like you haven't had your break or you haven't been as successful as you want to be in music, I got some useful information to help you. Now, I'm not going to sit here and act like I have all the answers because I don't. But if you've been following my journey, I'm so grateful to say that I do music full time now for a living. And I've been blessed to do this for over a year. And today I wanna give you guys a few suggestions, a few tips, a few recommendations to help you become more successful in your walk of music. Now everything, all the tips, all the recommendations, all the words of encouragement I'm gonna be giving you today is based on I would say it's a statement or a fact, but I, I guess you can call it an opinion. And that is in 2022 and going forward, no one cares how you make music anymore. It doesn't matter how it's made. All that matters is, does it sound good? So whether you're an artist, whether you're a producer, whether you're a DJ, whether you're a singer, whether you're a songwriter, no one cares how the music is made. All that matters is, does it sound good? If you're using Ableton, if you're using FL Studio, if you're using Loops, if you're using Omnisphere, if you're using a $5 plugin or a million dollar plugin, no one cares. If you're an artist and you paid $5,000 for a beat or you paid $10 for a beat, whether you're going to a million dollar recording studio or you're making music in your bedroom, no one cares. Your fans are not gonna care. As a DJ, no one cares what I play as long as it's banging. I might get a few questions like, hey, where can I find this remix? But they don't care how the remix was made. So based on that statement, my first recommendation, my first tip, first piece of advice is use anything and everything possible to help you be as creative as you can possibly be. If you're an artist and you struggle with songwriting, hire a songwriter, get someone to songwrite with you. There are some apps out there to help you songwrite. Cause I'm telling you, when someone's listening to your music, they're not wondering who wrote the song. All they care about is, does it sound good? If you want to produce music and you can't play an instrument, that's okay. You got MIDI packs, you got amazing apps like Splice. You can get a ton of free sample packs from Cymatics. Use loops, use samples, bring a musician in. I don't feel like you're less of a producer if you can't play an instrument because you got amazing talented producers that have sampled so many records and have created so many hits. And at the end of the day, when fans listen to the music, they don't care if it's sampled or not. Now, you, getting it cleared is a whole different story, but loops, samples, VSTs, plugins, MIDI packs, they're all tools. And there's nothing wrong with using any of them. Because at the end of the day, as a producer, when you send that beat out to an artist, they don't care how you made it. They don't care if you used Omnisphere. They don't care if you, you dug up Beethoven and you got him to play for you. They don't care, does it sound good? So that's my first recommendation. Use anything and everything possible to be as creative as you can possibly be. Second tip, keep it simple. This is something I've really picked up on in the last three or four months because I've been DJing so much. For those that don't know, I DJ three nights a week, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. And I've realized that some of the hottest songs are mad simple. Some of the most catchy songs are mad simple. And this is something I struggle with, if I'm being honest, for a few years. This is something I just realized. A lot of the beats I've created, they're just too busy. I have a melody and a counter melody and then another counter melody and crazy bass lines and, and whatnot. And it sounds good when there's no artist on it. But then as soon as you bring in an artist, you realize, man, there's, there's way too much going on. If you wanna have more success as a producer selling beats, keep your beats simple. Make amazing music, but keep it simple. And some of my favorite songs to DJ are so simple. Sometimes they don't even have a melody. They just have chords. Sometimes it's just a guitar and piano and drums, no big transitions. And a lot of the songs are hit songs. Some of the songs that have been streamed 500 million times, a billion times, 2 billion times. Think about it, songs like Shape of You, Rockstar, Someone You Loved, One Dance, Say You Won't Let Go, Thinking Out Loud, Havana, you know, just to name a few. I can't stress this enough, keep it simple. Tip number three is study, study, study. I know this is not something that's really sexy to say, but it's so important. I know we're talking about music, but I like to learn from all different walks of life. And something I've learned from some of the most successful athletes is it isn't always what you do on the field, 
but it's what you do when you're not on the field. It's the preparation. It's studying your opponent, studying your teammates, studying yourself. And what I try to do is I apply that athlete's mentality to music. So I love to study other producers, other artists, other musicians, other DJs, and A, learn from them, B, be inspired by them. And man, we are so blessed to be living in a time where we have access to so much information. There is so much free information out there for you to learn whatever you wanna learn. Now, there are great courses out there if you want to purchase a course, but first start with the free access out there. There are millions of hours of information on every DAW you could possibly think of. There is so much information on any style of music you can think of. There's so much information on any instrument you wanna learn. So I definitely recommend you study. That will definitely help you become way more successful. Tip number four is collab with as many people as possible. A lot of the success I've had in my musical journey is because of collaborations. I started working with one artist, which led me to working with another artist. And when I started working with the second artist, I started doing shows every single weekend as a musician. And then I worked with a third artist and that landed me my DJ gigs every single weekend. And I've collaborated with a ton of companies and done a ton of YouTube videos. And that's open doors. And that allowed me to go to California and work with Spectrasonics. I can't stress enough how important it is to collaborate. Try to work with other producers, singers, songwriters. Now, another way of collaborating is creating remixes. As a DJ, this can be something that can really propel your DJ career. If you are able to create an amazing remix that goes viral, that can really change your DJ career. And creating remixes doesn't just go for DJs. You can do this as a musician, you can do this as a singer, you can do this as a rapper. So whatever you're doing in music, I can't stress enough how important it is to collaborate with other people that are involved in music. Tip number five is learn a second, third, or even fourth skill. What do I mean by that? Uh, I know we're talking about music and I keep going back to sports, but I feel like it really helps drive my point across. You know, typically as a quarterback, you have your number one option, but what if that option is covered? You go to your second option. If that is covered, you go to your third or maybe even fourth option. So let's take it back to music. I'm a producer, right? But let's say I'm not having a lot of success. Can I be a sound engineer? Can I be a musician? Can I help an artist write a song? If I'm a DJ, can I produce a remix? for an artist, an up and coming artist. And I've said this before in a previous video, being one dimensional is not good enough. The more skills you have, the more valuable you are, period. By having that second or third or fourth skill, that might allow you to go back to your primary skill. So having that third or fourth skill can really help open doors and lead you back to what you wanna do, that first skill. Tip number six is be patient. You're watching my YouTube channel today and I'm super grateful that you're watching. And I'm telling you, I do music full time for a living every single day. I love what I do. I'm super blessed. But I did YouTube for two years before I was able to quit my job. And people think two years is like two months. I know so many people that tell me they're gonna start a YouTube channel. And four months later, I hit them up. This is the one I hear the most, it's not working. Four months into my YouTube journey, guess what? It wasn't working for me either. A lot of the producers, a lot of the artists, a lot of the people we look up to, they struggled too. Your struggle is a part of your success. Some of the most successful CEOs, they had four or five businesses fail before they succeeded. And without my struggles, I wouldn't appreciate what I do right now every single day. So be patient, keep pushing, keep pushing, don't quit. If you need to take a break, give yourself a day, give yourself a two days, give yourself three days and get back to work. Yeah, I really want to stress that. Tip number seven is Share, 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 share. This is what's allowed me to do music full time. I share my musical journey on YouTube. I've met so many people that tell me they wanna do music and they don't put anything out on Instagram. They don't put anything out on YouTube. If you are an artist, if you do anything in music and you don't share it on Instagram, you don't share it on TikTok, you don't share it on YouTube, how do you expect to become successful? How do you expect to grow a fan base? I've had people hit me up and say, hey, can you do this for me? I've had companies hit me up, say, hey, can you do that for me? It's not because uh, I've got 
the best videos in the world it's because I share content. If you want to be successful, you got to share your journey. Tip number eight, anyone that's involved in music, I think you should learn an instrument. I wouldn't be the producer I am today if I didn't know how to play an instrument. Being able to play an instrument really helps with creativity. Oftentimes, even when I'm just like freestyling, sometimes I'll play an incorrect chord and come up with an amazing new chord progression. I'm not telling you you need to become Beethoven. A couple of chord progressions here, this and that. That's all you need to know. And there is so much information out there. I'm working on a piano course to help you guys as well. It doesn't even have to be a piano. It can be a guitar, it can, it can be anything. Tip number nine, this one is so important y'all. And that is invest in yourself. If I didn't invest in myself, I wouldn't be the producer I am today. I spent thousands of dollars, whether it's with cameras, whether it's with laptops, keyboards. I just got DJ gear. I spent so much money on music gear, but it allowed me to be the best possible musician I could possibly be whenever I did a gig. And I'm not made of money, y'all. I've had the same car. <laughs> I've had the same car for nine years. I drive a 2006 Acura TL. We are in 2022. I'm not ashamed of it, by the way. It's a part of my journey. I sacrificed and I kept spending on DJ gear, I kept spending on music gear, and all this investing allows me to do what I do for a living now. Now, there are a ton of sample packs out there that are free, a ton of great plugins out there that are free, and they're great as well. But I value more the VSTs, the plugins, the samples that I purchased than I do the ones I get for free. Whether it was to buy my first instrument, whether it was to buy my second instrument, I was always investing myself. And last but not least, start today. Or if you have started, don't quit today. Everything I shared with you today is what's allowed me to do music full time. I really, really want to encourage the struggling producer, the struggling musician, DJ, singer, songwriter. Listen, I've been there. You can make it happen. Just keep grinding, keep pushing. Share your journey, share your music with everyone and anyone. Be patient. Your time is coming. I appreciate y'all. It's your boy Cedric. I'm signing out. I'll see you in another video.